Well, welcome back to the Mod Showcase, everyone. Hope you all are having a lovely weekend so far. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys back here yet again for another Mod Showcase. Now, of course, before we do get started, mods are not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game, but... If you follow all the instructions and tutorials laid out by all my fellow modders, you guys are going to be modding in a snatch. You guys are going to be getting all these beautiful new species into your zoos. And what beautiful species they are. Let's get started right away with the beautiful Paleo mod. This one is so popular and I... I can really understand why. This is, of course, the cave lion, otherwise known as a steep lion. So these guys are gorgeous. This one is made by the lovely and talented Gaboy. They come with like four different variants, I want to say, three or four. And look at that fur quality. Look at this. Can we just take a moment to pause and look how beautiful this fur direction is going? Just all the angles, all like everything in there. It just looks incredible. And it really does go to show just how beautiful a mod can be. These guys, of course, have been extinct since, I believe... Yeah, about 13 KYA. Not sure what the hell that means, Jorno, but I'm sure you can let us know in the comments down below. Um, these are just such gorgeous creatures, and I was so lucky to be granted the ability to take the Zoopedia photos and all that stuff for these guys. Came out wonderfully, and of course these guys are found all over kind of the world, uh, mostly across Eurasia as well as a little bit of America. Uh, just really beautiful animals. I'm still so happy with like all their colorations and stuff like that. But yeah, Gaboy did an absolutely amazing job. There's this variant that has like these stripes on the top, which is very cool. Um, they also have one without it. I don't think I have any spawned in. Females are unique as well and the babies are adorable. Unfortunately, I don't think I have it installed right now uh to show off the babies but let me just bring in i believe this one should be one of the ones without the stripes hopefully fingers crossed we could actually see that come into play just gonna speed up the game a bit more and there we go that should show off another variant of these guys really beautiful really really gorgeous fur i can't get over that i good boy sometime you need to teach me how to do this jazz because it's incredible but yeah these guys are so amazing i hope you guys go check these guys out really beautiful mod now moving on throughout here we have one that mega game and rex made for the outback pack this guy isn't officially in the pack just yet but it will be relatively soon this is the woldy otherwise known as the brush tailed batong these guys are adorable we have them in some local zoos around here i know capron park zoo which is one of the closer ones to me has them they're very common in Australian sections just because they're so small and easy to care for but they are nocturnal animals so keep that in mind so I guess probably you should kind of switch it to nighttime kind of like that I'll keep it in daytime so you guys can actually see these guys however but really cute animal I just really do love these guys just a really good mod especially for using the kangaroo rig I'm very impressed by how Mega Game Rex was able to get it to work on such a small scale over here especially like with all the proportions especially the hands and stuff it's one of the cuter mods out there so I hope you guys enjoy that one now moving on throughout here we have one that took me quite a while to finish but i'm so happy with it this one is of course the western roe deer now i know narwhaler is going to be working on his siberian roe deer and all the luck in the world to him with that one but i am so happy with how this one came out this one of course the horns are made by jen I can't thank her enough for her hard work when it comes to all that stuff. I don't know how the horns work. She does. She's incredible at it. All the love to her for that. But the body is all mine, which I'm very excited about. So the roe deer are very much well known for the way they kind of hold their heads up. And it's kind of like at a very high ankle compared to like the rest of the deer. So that was kind of fun to workshop right over there. But I'm very happy with like all the colors of the texture throughout here. Just like all the shading and stuff like that. I'm very happy with how like their belly kind of looks over there. And also their face texture was super fun just to get right. It was such a fun mod to work on. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. They also have a lot of variations. So you get some like grayer ones. And you get some more saturated ones. A lot more of a summer coat and stuff like that. So you get like a lot more colorful ones kind of like that. That's a female of course. A little bit skinnier. A little bit lankier. 
uh, of course, as they usually are in deer species. So it's just really awesome just to see that, and I'm super proud of it. So I hope you guys go check this one out because it took me a while to make, but I hope you guys enjoy it all the same. So that's just a really fun mod right there. Now popping in here to check out one of Monsoon's most beautiful fish. This is the Siamese Giant Carp. These guys are possibly the largest of the Cyprinidae family. They're just a really beautiful fish when it all comes down to it. Really beautiful scales. I know Monsoon does his stuff all custom. I can't imagine doing that, but guess what? Maybe you guys may see a custom fish by me next week. Maybe you'll see a lot of custom fish by me next week. I'm not really sure, but these guys are just incredible, beautiful creatures. Look at all the detail on these guys. It really does go to show just how amazing fish mods have come. A little bit of work by Buff Zoo as well. He was able to get the rigging to be absolutely perfect on it. And they're just really incredible creatures when it all comes down to it. I'm just very, very satisfied with how well they were able to get this mod to look. And it's just such an awesome freshwater species, so I hope you guys go check this one out. Always the custom fish really blow me away by how awesome they can be. Now, last but not least, this is going to be a relatively short showcase. Actually, I'm going to do this before I forget. Really quick update to the path replacement pack. I have a few different replacements in here, be it the mud texture. So, obviously, you could tell it should be a lot more red uh, in vanilla. Uh, roller Coaster Tycoon, no. Uh, Planet Zoo. But I kind of opted to have it be a lot more kind of grayer. Maybe a little bit on the red side, kind of pinkish. A little bit twinge of salmon if that makes sense but that's how that one looks and i also have one that's a little bit more of a black kind of concrete texture i think i may switch this one out later just because i don't really like how that looks it just feels a little bit too blue because all i really did was take this concrete one if i could find it and switch it out for blacks um i'm not really the biggest fan of that so i think i may go in and change it out for this asphalt kind of color because the real reason why I have it be that one is not only for the curbs themselves but also for the railings these railings are super awesome for like elevated areas which is a specific uh, request of why Andrews for me just to uh, um, include these paths in here so that's what I really want to do maybe I'll update that later maybe I won't I'm not really sure here is my next mod <laughs> And this is, of course, the White Cheek Gibbon. The Northern White Cheek Gibbon, to be specific. Of course, this is based off the Siamang. I forgot to cover a lot of these mods in the last few weeks, so I do apologize on that. But this is easily one of my favorite mods I've ever done. I understand that the female's head needs to be shrunk a little bit. I kind of realized that after, like, I made the Lar Gibbon, I do gotta go back and fix that up. But the rest of the textures, I'm super proud of. And I'm super happy just to see that we finally got this iconic zoo type tycoon 2 species out there for all you guys to enjoy and i really do love the males more than anything oh look at him brachiate that is super awesome to see right there but no the males look really cool too they have like those iconic white cheeks obviously because they wouldn't be a white cheek gibbet without it but no i also love their face i kind of opted for this more bluish texture which i have noticed a lot of white cheek gibbons do have and i think if you accentuate it just a little bit it gives it this nice unique kind of style to it so i'm very proud of that and it's just a really fun mod to have i hope you guys enjoy that just a really really fun mod to make that finally is out after like an entire update now, I do want to thank you guys for stopping by. Um, you guys are always super supportive, so it always makes me so happy. Definitely let me know your favorites in the comments down below. Obviously, I do love the Steep Lion. It's really incredible. And by the way, thank huge thank you to Jorno for coding it. I don't think I mentioned that before, but it's a really beautiful mod. However, I am a fan of the fish. And I must say that the Siamese Giant Carp is my favorite for this week. But I'm very encouraged. I am encouraging you guys to let me know your favorites from this week as well in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for stopping by. It always does make my day to see you guys all comment down there. And I can't wait to see you all in the next episode. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.